subscribe. Also, hit the bell button so you don't miss any videos. Hey everyone, it's me Waka. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to make an unboxing of the Little Twin Stars. I made a poll on my community tab asking what video did you guys want to see this week. Most of the people wanted to watch a Mori Girl haul and also the Little Twin Star haul. They both had the same votes and I was not sure what to do. Since that happened, I decided to do the Little Twin Stars one because I have some things that I want to um, start using it already. Without any more waiting, let's go ahead and start with this unboxing. I think most of the stuff that I got here are from the Mercury app, also from Depop, I think. Let's go ahead with the first item. The first item from the Little Twin Stars haul are mugs. This was the item that I wanted to use already. These are from the Loot Crate um, box. These were an exclusive item. These are made out of ceramic. I got these mugs for $10 plus $4.25 for shipping. Here are the Little Twin Stars mugs. They are so adorable. And as you can see, they're very small. I really like the stars detail that it has over here. I use it to hold it very tightly. Here's the Lala one, super, super cute, and here's Kiki. They're small, they're cute, and they're stackable. <laughs> I found this very, very cool. I got this set because I wanted to have one for my boyfriend and one for me. And I like the idea that they are stackable because that means they take a little bit less space in the kitchen. Uh, these are way smaller than a regular cup, but that's okay for me because I like to take my tea slowly. So yeah, this is the first item. I'm very, very happy with this. I am so happy because I've been wanting to have this since it was released. So yeah. And I'm also really happy because I don't think I paid that much for these mugs. Um, the second item is this over here. This is a set of plushies. So, so, so adorable. I'm gonna try not to say cute all the time, but everything is cute. I thought that these plushies were way more bigger because this cost me quite a bit. I am not satisfied with the price that I paid for this. Um, even though they're the little twin star, I'm, you know, I'm kind of a little bit cheap. This is just like a collection of baked breads. I would have never thought that they were bread. I just saw that they were the little twin stars and I bought it. Isn't it funny that I am filming a little twin star video now and I'm texting a uh, real seal cereal because she's looking for little twin star stuff for me for my next uh, little twin star haul. And it's just funny because we're discussing little twin star stuff while I'm doing a little twin star video so yeah I, I don't know I just found it funny I think these plushies are from the claw machine game online I forgot even the name they are very soft I really like that I will give that wait <gasps> what the hell whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that they had some kind of glue or something but look at this <gasps> they are stackable I did not expect that at all. They have magnets. What? That's so strange. I got this because I don't have anything from the Little Twin Stars with their original colors. I thought that it looked cute. They don't have anything on the back. It's just plain. This is the tag over here. Lola has like a few stars over here. Kiki doesn't have anything. So the reason why I'm not happy with this plushies is because I paid $27 for this and I don't think this is worth $27. We're talking about such a small, small, small um, plushies. Most of the stuff that I get always on Mercury, I kind of 9 out of 10 of the time I try to make deals with the seller. Okay, the third item is this one over here is super, super tiny. Now this one, I got it on eBay, I remember. It's been a long time since I've gotten something from eBay. Uh, I've been so addicted to Mercury and Depop that I really don't look at eBay anymore. So it's this tiny container over here. I think this is from Daiso. This one arrived from Japan. It's just a container, but I love so much the design. 
like I, I just have a thin with purple and pink and obviously the lilac over here I feel like all the colors over here like are everything <laughs> um, I don't know if you can notice but the box has like glitters super super cute um, and yeah it's just a simple container it has a good uh, depth I guess it can fit a lot of pills <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of I maybe toothpicks and stuff like that I think I pay like three or four dollars with shipping I got this very cute um kind of birthday thing that you hang like this that says happy birthday but instead of happy birthday, you have the little twin stars. So with this, you get a lot of different little twin stars art. Uh, all of them comes with holes, so you can uh, pass through this pink uh, ribbon. Which, by the way, I'm using it right now to play with my cat because she fell in love with it. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But yeah, as you can see, all of the little twin stars are, are very very cute, I really like that I think all of them are different um, I'm gonna decorate my room with this Yeah, they are all different, I don't know if, if you can see over here I like that and it was not expensive It also came with a cute uh, little twin star bag even if I don't want to use it with the ribbon, I can still use each art and put it all around my room. I think it will still look cute. The next item, now this one I think I got it from Mercury too. I've been wanting to get this little twin stars figure. It's called Figure Art Zero from Bandai for a long, long time. You can get the little twin stars with their original hair color. This one is way more cheaper than the pastel one. I mean, the pastel one looks way cuter. I'm like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> this looks so, so cuter. I think you can shave a few poses. And yeah, I'm just happy to finally have it. I haven't opened it. I was waiting to make this video. Let's see over here. So we got a lilac background over here. Here are the instructions to assemble the little twin stars uh, figure. We got the star base, we have a one as a prop, and we have two hands as spare. So cute, so tiny. Here's how the figure looks, it's so pastel. So basically what you can do with this figure is to exchange, like take off their heads and exchange their faces. And also uh, change one of the hands so they can look like they're holding hands. Um, I really like how good this figure looks it is so smooth you will not believe it but their heads are very very heavy like right now i'm holding this and i'm getting tired because this is very very heavy it's such a lovely design simple but cute and the colors are perfect perfect pastel two more items and i'm done the next items are no other than more little twin stars plushy now this is a witch set of plushies I love it because they look adorable I love the Atelier games and I don't know for some reason it reminds me of a very cute witchy kind of alchemist character from Atelier I also got them because they are in purple and pink I forgot to mention that the figure from the little twin star cost me $26 uh, $5.25 uh, for shipping in total I paid $31.25 even though I made a deal with the seller and this with cheap plushies cost me $32 plus $5.25 for the shipping in total I paid $37.25 wow I didn't remember that it was that much um, these plushies were released on the claw machine game Toreba that was the game oh my gosh I totally forgot the name so yeah we got Kiki over here with his Weird hat, his hat look a little bit strange, so cute, here's the tag, I love the pants because they have like a bunch of stars, he has purple striped socks, a very cute bow in blue, and his cape is in lilac, his hat is in lilac, and his eyes are in lilac on his mouth, yep, now Lala 
has a pink bow, a purple cape, a pink stars and purple stripes sucks with also a purple hat I really like how they always make uh, Lala's hair because I don't know you can shake it like that and her eyes are also in purple obviously I have to get both because they look way better together they look perfect for this background because I have a bunch of stars and they have like stars and moons on their hats oh my gosh they look perfect here awesome and the last item of this haul is the bag which I thought about adding it to my Muddy Girl video because it looks muddy. So it's no other than this cute bag. It's a tote bag. It's way more bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But look at this. Oh my god. It has like this deer kind of design. The material of this tote bag is so soft. I don't know how you call this fabric, but it's extremely soft. And you can see over here the little twin stars uh, design. I got this because it was perfect. It is muddy, but it also had the little twin stars. It's perfect. And it also came with the tag, like original tag and stuff. It has the same design on both sides. It has like PU uh, leather on the bottom. Here's how it looks on the inside. I wish the inside was a little bit more prettier, but it's okay. I feel like this is more of a launch bag than a bag. The inside feels more like a launch bag, a little bit. I don't know, I mean, you can use bags for anything. It is that big. It only works as a shoulder bag. So the bag cost me $18 and I got it at Depot. So I think that's everything for today's Little Twin Start haul. What do you think about this haul? Which was your favorite item? Anything that you wanna say, don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and also follow me on Instagram because I will start uploading videos there too. I hope you like this video. Thank you again for watching and for supporting my channel and I hope to see you next week. Take care, bye bye.